Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. So today we are going to begin with the session and we will cover the topic uh, that is flow designer. Sending the emails through flow designer. So basically, uh, I have created a few videos for the sending the emails through service now. So where we are sending emails through um, events and through, uh, through sending an events and by workflows and even by updation and uh, insertion like how we can send the emails so one way is the flow designer okay let me show you the existing email present in the tool when we write here the email the system emails you see notifications so we have um usually we create notifications here right so when we create a new notification let me show you when a notification can be called. Like in my earlier session, I have told it, told this thing. The, when a record is inserted, updated, and when an event is fired, and last is the trigger. So if you select here as a trigger and you create a new notification, for example, I'm going to create a new notification on incident table. incident table and this is my test trigger notification notification great so i want which users to receive it i want to select the requested for i will go here caller i want to send it to the caller and then what it will contain Hey, this is a trigger notification. And at the same time, I want to add the number to the notification. So I am adding here the number. So it's a dynamic value. So one, uh, you need to write dollar. And in curly braces, you will write the number. And this is I. Okay, if you want to add some details, you can add. I'm just creating a uh, sample. If you can say a sample notification for trigger. So let's save it. We have named it test trigger notification and let's open the flow designer from here flow designer so we already have it right open but still it's okay so i have created a notification already so we are going to send notification through flow designer in this session so here when we are going to send a notification we need to define a trigger like when this flow will be executed. So when I want it to be executed, when a incident is updated, incident is updated and what is updated, the category changes to software for every update, right? So that's done. What action I want to perform? I want to send the notification. So we have multiple, uh, multiple actions to send the notification one is to send notification and i check in service now code we have few others also okay, that is mail send email is another option and okay let's create uh, each type of option so first we will cover the send notification send notification will uh, allow you to select the record on which you want it to, to be run. Uh, this is the record we have selected from here. 
from data pill picker you can select the record and then selected the incident table and here we don't have option to um we are selecting here basically the notifications from the notification table so out of the box we have this so if we define the trigger um, when it is called like uh, we define the trigger part which we did for this so we can see two now because this one is customized when send equals to trigger it has to be there so and the table is incident so you can see the query here so i am going to select it that's it let's see if it's updated it's not updated let's select again we have two in the bottom i've selected this and this is done let's add one more actions that is that is mail again send email is another option what is allow we need to define a target again so let's we're going to select from here the incident record and if you want the water mark to be included if you want to define to cc uh, directly or in data pill picker you can do it incident record no that will be not so i will go to the incident record and expand it suppose i want to send it to the caller so i can simply say caller and then i want to select email caller so this will be my two okay fine so likewise i can do i need to hard code everything here like subject and everything if i want any dynamic value that i can pick from here suppose i want to add incident number here open the incident expand it and somewhere you will have the number here see here it's alphabetically i found it alphabetically so yeah that's how it will be done i'm going to save it and again the third one is okay so we have created two ways and third way is you might create a custom action by which you are uh, sending an event from flow designer to the tool and so that the event can call the notification so yeah, for now we will see these two options and let's see how it works. Let's save it for now and it's already active. It has to be active. The flow designer solution should be active and it should be saved with the latest changes, right? Okay, so great. Now we have it ready and let's open a incident first. I'm going to create a new incident, a fresh incident, and we will see the upgrades here. So I'm going to select um, use that is a brand Lincoln, and it's our test incident farm. Okay, I'm going to select a subcategory. Although those are everything is optional, let's not select everything in the categories inquiry and help right now. So what, uh, let's open the emails, email logs. So you can see we have this incident created and it's assigned to me. It's assigned to Fred. And another one is it is open on behalf of this. So let's check, okay. So it's one notification is triggered all out of the box notification trigger and you can see in the activity logs right so let's update let's update the category to software and see if we have our 
to me say right so wait for a minute let's refresh it okay we can see the priority base two to five planning so it's send ready right now a type is send ready for now we are waiting for the second one So let's check the flow. So one notification we had, a trigger notification, right? We created it and the second one is, we have not provided any body, but it's test and followed by the number. The subject is like that. So let's, So if it is gonna be see here, so we can only see the priority one. Yeah, only one is running. I believe the changes are not saved because we are not using this right now. Let's go to the pro designer again and let's save it. Need to activate it again. Those changes are not reflected, right? Now we can see the activate button is no more blue. So let's update again it to something else. Inquiry help again. Then again, when we're going to change it to software, it should trigger the flow, right? See, now you can see this test mail. It's in send ready. Great. Now you can see both the mails now here. This test, this one is the manual mail and this is the um, show, okay. We have these two subjects, right? So in the flow designer, we had first one test trigger. So for test trigger, we have given the subject as um, a, this is a trigger notification and then number. So in the mails, we have, hey, this is the trigger notification and number. Okay. And then we had second one as we have hard coded the test followed by the number. So here we have test followed by the number here. Both are triggered now because it is saved. So let's see, both are in send status now because we have enabled our notifications. So that's how it works. So that's how you can leverage the functionality from Flow Designer as well. So it's a good practice, according to me, to use this templates. So that you know you can even call a script here and you know, uh, it is easy to maintain like modify notifications otherwise i need to go to uh, the flow designer and manually you know read each and every mails and subject body individually in the flow designer so it is difficult to maintain but as we know all the mails are um 
manage in the notifications. So it is easy, you know, it is easy for future to refer like where notifications are configured and it is centralized here. So we can easily like modify it for multiple places where it is used. So it's from every place it is called from here only. So yeah, that is how you can achieve it. And I think it's a good idea to use Flow Designer also if it, if it is like if you know this functionality, how to achieve it with flow designer. So yeah, keep practicing and let me know if you have any issues. Happy learning. Bye-bye.